And now on to our dinosaur of the day, ZB, which was a request from Portuguese Eagle via YouTube. So thanks. ZB was a Tyriosaurian sauropod that lived in the late Jurassic in what is now Portugal, and it was found in the Lourinhoa Formation. The fossils were first found in 1996 and was excavated in 1996, 2000, and 2002, and was described and named in 2014 by Octavio Mateus, Philip D. Manion, and Paul Upchurch. It was named after George Zibshevsky, a Russian-French paleontologist who studied paleontology and geology in Portugal. There's only one species, it's ZB atlanticus, and the species name refers to the, quote, scenic bay over the Atlantic Ocean, end quote, where the specimen was found. It's known from the holotype, which was a partial skeleton with a complete tooth with a root, part of a cervical neural arch, anterior chevron, and a nearly complete right pectoral girdle and forelimb. Only one tooth was found, but it was a complete tooth crown and root. And sauropod teeth that were shed while the sauropod was alive usually only have the crown because the root was reabsorbed. That's what you usually find. Because this tooth had the crown and the root, though, the tooth probably was separated from the skull after the specimen died. The tooth had derived characteristics only seen in basal sauropods or eusauropods. It had this wrinkled enamel covering most of the crown, a spatulate crown shape, labial grooves, and a V-shaped wear. It was an osauropod dinosaur, which is a derived clade of sauropods. It's unclear how big ZB was, because there's not enough fossils to know. ZB, though, is the fourth sauropod named from the late Jurassic in Portugal. Pretty good for such a small country. Yeah. It's closely related to Tyriosaurus riodivensis, a sauropod that lived at the same time but in Spain, and that one is possibly the largest sauropod that lived in Europe. They had similar teeth and forelimbs. A preliminary study in 2009 found similarities with Tyriosaurians and tentatively referred ZB to Tyriosaurus riodivensis. Because ZB and Tyriosaurus lived at the same time, it's possible that they could have been the same genus or species, but more detailed comparisons show enough differences to make them separate genera, according to the authors and scientists who formally named ZB. It's also hard to compare the two since it's only based on their teeth and forelimb elements, so there may be a lot more differences between the two, we just don't know about it yet. Other dinosaurs that lived in the same time and place include the sauropods Lorenhanosaurus and Lusotitan, the Stegosaurus Stegosaurus and Miragaya, and theropods Torvosaurus, Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and Lorenhanosaurus. You can see a cast of ZB, the pectoral girdle and forelimb only, at the Wills Memorial Building in Bristol in the UK and the Sorier Museum Athol in Switzerland. 